I do think shit. that like a gangbang preamble is kind of like a good idea for a podcast. Just like the <laughs> podcast, the guys hanging out before the gangbang or the boot or the or the the DP or triple P or whatever. Like that's a good idea. I want to know what those guys are talking about before and after the scene. Realistically, and it'll be better if they don't know each other. Mm. It, that'd be good too. The awkwardness. I like how you called it a preamble, though. If it's a preamble, I feel like they got to be wearing powdered wigs. Oh, that's a that's an option. For I sure. do declare if I will insert my phallus into the woman's. Ooh, wait, are we going live right now? Is this happening? We've been live. Oh, we're rolling for like a minute. Oh, wow. So we have a. Tell me about this woman who we have coming in. I heard she. Um, I heard she might escort a little bit on the down low. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna like strictly adhere to whatever she wants to talk about. But that was at least one thing that I thought was really dope about her when she came on Plug Talk recently, which is not even actually out yet. Is that she was kind of open about like anybody who really knows about the the corn game knows that there's. The public facing stuff, and then there's uh, oh, whatever goes uh, on in the background. Uh, there she is. Uh, Woo! She is uh, lovely. We started like three uh, minutes before she came in. You doing all right? Court's making noises like a cat. I'm he's coming. actually hitting. Yeah, he's he's got like a goat vibe. Oh, going he, on right he ejaculated. Now. I think he did just finish in his shorts. No, and, I'm and so, for the record, his attraction to her and possible uh, capacity for stalking her in the near future yeah. is like not a, a secret. Because I, when I had her on Plug Talk. I talked to her about this at length, about how I had this friend. He's, he hasn't been laid in 10 years. He really is just trying to get it in. That's true. <laughs> yep. At first, I was going to say, what the f*** are you talking about? But yeah. He's a virgin again. If that'll get me laid, then yeah. yeah. Once years. he crossed the decade threshold for having not gotten laid. You get your virginity back. I think you do. Yeah. I think we need to bring in a priest to make it official. It's like when a pawn makes it to the other side of the board. Mm -hmm. yeah. He I becomes like, a, a something. What does he become? Because he and I Queen? both have spent time with... Gucci Berry in the last week, yeah. who's on, who was on a 15-year no-sex streak before I got him laid, thanks to the advances in technology supplied by Blue Chew. Mm. He told he, me about that. He did indeed take. Yes, and he, uh, I made him endorse it on the air, knowing it was a faithful sponsor of this program. Really? Yeah, I got an extra plug, so they should probably boost our rate. Oh, that's great. I love that. Yeah. I wonder what Connie's doing. It looks like she's like putting shoes on. I think she might be getting some gel in case a, a sexual scenario breaks out between her and Court. What about Mace? It could be Mace, too. It's either gel or Mace, or it's a Mace gel. How would you most like to see Court assaulted within the context of this episode? Honestly, she can full on kill me. <laughs> would you die happy? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be with it, is what I'm saying. I will let you. You'd get on some Gucci Berry you let her kick you in the nuts as hard as possible? Honestly, I'd just be glad she interacted with my nuts in any way. The ankle mm. to the nuts. That's a, that's a brief contact, though. I don't know if it'd be worth the, the hospitalization. Is it free? I, it, I Yeah. We'll okay. have to talk yeah, to her yeah, yeah, yeah. to negotiate rates, I suppose. Or maybe, Adam, is what you're saying, that you'll pay her whatever her rate is to let her kick court in the nuts? Wow. Wow. Not bad, right? Oh, my. You see why I liked her? I, I don't mean to be uncivilized, oh, but your body is turning me into a beast. <laughs> Sure. Sure. Connie, I, I these are. You, I thought you was racist against Asians. Oh, no. What me? I love yeah, Asian yeah. chicks. My ex girlfriend's Asian. Dummy. Can we get the mic? Doesn't mean you're not racist. That's true. I did call her a lot of slurs. <laughs> he gave her poop on her birthday. I did. I made her wear a rice hat whenever we made <laughs> love. Wow. Oh, what the? F Shout out Raiden. Uh, it was, yo, up. every time somebody say rice hat, I think about Raiden. Yeah, me too. Why the f did they put this? In the hat if it's going to be racist. I didn't even know this shit was racist. Well, it was like 1991. Nobody knew that the rice hat was racist at that time. We've come a long way. I think... You know about Raiden? Like... From Mortal Kombat? Yes. Yeah, yes. it's just kind of like that's our entire basis for understanding the world yeah. outside of America. Yeah. It's so crazy when you go to a place like Vietnam and you just see a bunch of white people wearing those hats and you're like, mm, okay, cool. Really? Yeah. All around. You're offended by this or do you think it's no, just a I decent just think hat it's design? it's very funny. I think to them maybe the war isn't over. <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't let go of that vietnam war loss and this is their way of keeping the battle going you're talking about the white people living in vietnam yes that's how they want to pretend in their head that they vanquished the north vietnamese are there big segments of white people living in vietnam i never really thought about this are there i don't know not i'm not from vietnamese there. yeah hmm. well, why do you go to vietnam 
Because why, why not? I don't, don't know. Don't you want to travel the world? Yeah, definitely. But like, what's going on? Vietnam. It's beautiful. I loved it. Really? Yeah. So I guess I got to introduce you to my yes. friends. This is Danny Mullen. Hi. Hi. He's a YouTuber, a comedian of sorts, some sort of stand-up hybrid influencer, mm-hmm. content creator, I mm-hmm. guess we could give it to him. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of edginess, I'm going to say that that's mostly contained to his deviant sexual appetite for BPing women. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that a common thing you do? It's or? fairly common. Oh, wow. Good I would you. say a month isn't a success unless there is a DP that takes place within it. Wow. Wow. He's a freak. It's been a rough year. That's There's awesome. Very few DPs. How do you feel about the DP? I, I don't do anal, so well, sorry. He that's a problem. Me now. I'm going to have to train you. <laughs> what oh. about two in the pink instead of... One in the pink, one in the stink. What if we go two in the that's pink? That's fine. Okay. You've done that or you would just be I've open to that. it? No, that's what he's done. I've done double vaginal. Oh, yes. no, no. Oh, that's what you're talking about. In his private life. Oh, no. He's done that, which I think is kind of crazy because I'm a porn star who has not d- ever done that. Yeah. Well, you know, there's always opportunity for you. Yeah. One of these days. So you don't do anal. I don't. <laughs> he's kind of. Core, are you checking out? <laughs> Crest falling <laughs> over there. <laughs> she it, was perfect, but now. Nah, nah. It's so crazy because, like, people get really aggressive about anal for some reason. Who? Like, him? No. D- well, maybe. I don't know him yet. You can but, wild out. Uh, yeah, but fans are like crazy about it. Like mm-hmm. I saw a tweet just yesterday where someone was like, oh, you know, this girl's perfect, whatever. And this fan fan was like, oh no, but she doesn't use her asshole. Mm. So she's not perfect. God did put it there for a reason. I know. But if you're so like particular about fucking an asshole, mm-hmm. I don't know. It seems a little gay to me. I Well, you're a woman, so I dispute that. It, it is kind of like... It, there's like a QAnon energy to guys who just want to fuck ass. I'm an asshole truther, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just believe that there's something inherently good in there. Her chest is gigantic. It is. The, those are big boobs, yeah. What do you think? I think... Is that uh, your thing? Well, I certainly don't hate it. What was that? I didn't hear that. What's that? I didn't hear that. You did, I, I said her... No, yeah, no, where are no, your headphones? You... Right. He's not wearing his headphones. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, come on. Talk about unprofessional. It doesn't dude. work well with your giant hat. Uh, it doesn't work well with my afro. You guys wouldn't know. <laughs> Court, do you feel like your chances of getting laid are diminished with headphones? Um, no, I feel like my chances of being laid are diminished by being born. However, I don't like your negative attitude. As soon as you're born, you have a way better chance of getting laid than somebody who is never born. <laughs> I agree with that. A stillborn fetus has essentially no chance of ever getting laid. <laughs> anyway, Connie, this is yes. Court. He has this weird uh, obsession with you that we've mm. learned about. Like when I first met him, or not when I first met him, but like in recent memory, I realized he was sharing your Instagram photos to his Instagram story as an act of, of tribute, which mm. is not necessarily we something. Love a fan. We love a fan. Right. That's not something you do. Like, do you do that to anyone? Like, are there any, like, hot chicks that you're just a fan of and you share their pictures of your story? This is something that no. the average guy in this world doesn't do. I That's disagree. how I knew he was a real fan. I disagree. I, I feel like people do that all the time. I do that with hot chicks. Do you? Yeah. You're being paid by them, though, to promote their own No. Things. So it's a no. shout-out no. trade. what it is. So what I do is I post, uh, you know, whatever. whenever I see, like, a beautiful woman post something, I'll, you know, post it to my story. Basically to represent my taste in women, right? But we have a mutual friend named Frenchie. I used to always post her. She started posting Connie, and that's how I found out about Connie. So I would I- like to buy you a 60-minute session with Andrew Tate so that he could tell you how this is probably not the way forward. If you want to make a girl fall in love with you, you can't just be promoting her Instagram. Hmm. Haven't, you, haven't you read the game, dude? You gotta be the exception to the rule. You should block her. Yeah. (laughs) You should be like ugly slut underneath her newest post. That's how you get them. See, I didn't want Connie to fall in love with me. I didn't even like this. This goes back years, dude. Apparently, we've met. Yeah, Yeah, you said you smoked a cigarette with her. Let's get into that. Mm. All right, so I'm outside of, I believe it's either like pianos or some shit like that. Oh, God. Because, see, he was deep into the recesses of hell in the Brooklyn bar scene, which I understand she also was yes. into. What happens at pianos? Why that reaction? <laughs> it's just, over the last couple of years, it's just turned into just a shit show of a place. Yeah. But in its prime, nice, real professional court. <laughs> right? What was that alarm for? Waking up <laughs> <laughs> at twelve thirty p.m. <laughs> because without this, that's the time that you wanted to get up. Because I told you yesterday, I'm like, you got to come on this podcast at twelve. 
So before that, you had already set your alarm for 12.30? I was going to snooze it four times from 12.30 and wake up at like... What time you go to bed? Bro, I sleep a lot. How many hours do you sleep a night? Like 16. Oh 16? my God. Are you a bear? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, break down the cigarette. Right. Wait, are we just going to let that slide that he sleeps 16 hours a but day? But he's that, kidding, that's right? That's not normal. Well, he's had, he's I don't had, know if he's kidding. He's had strokes and shit, so maybe he's still recovering. Yeah. Do you really sleep 16 hours? A no. F- no. How many hours a night do you sleep? It's probably like 12 or 14 or something fucked shit. up. I'm fucking sleeping. Well, what time do you normally fall asleep? I don't have a normal time, but if I had to guess, I would say like 11, 10. PM and then and you then wake you up wake at twelve thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like doing the math, like uh. So minimum twelve hours. Like ten. 11, oh my god. Eleven and a half. I feel luxurious because I, I a lot of times we go to bed at ten and then like my kid sleeps in, I get to wake up at seven. I'm like, holy shit, it's got that nine is hours. That is amazing. I sleep like three hours a night. But sometimes my kid wake up at like five thirty, so it's not doing? quite as good. Everything. Yeah, she's Most out here. She's still like in the the prime of her life. Whereas like you, me, and Danny have all kind of like relegated ourselves to I like. I have a scene immediately after this. What? And then after the scene, I have a photo shoot. Do you and have an After assistant? the photo shoot, I have a live show, and then after that, I have more work to do. Whoa, that is a long day. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, did you get good grades when you were in school? Of That's course. a stereotype. How dare you call it? I had. Poor <laughs> stress too good in school. No Asians. <laughs> Asians. <laughs> Yo, talk about the sig. And also, okay. I'm impressed by her work, her work ethic. She's, right, she's so going for it. I can't remember if I saw her smoking a cig or she was with somebody I don't smoke I knew. cigarettes. Okay, cool. You were so. drunk at the bar in Brooklyn at 4 o'clock in the morning. You probably, probably were down I for a cigarette, drink. right? Oh. I don't drink. You, but not even three, four years ago? No. When did you stop drinking? Like 10 years ago. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So incidentally, right, last time so she was with somebody that I knew that I was smoking a cigarette. So I asked for a cigarette. I sm- uh, smoked it, introduced myself, was talking, regular shit. Well, Remarkable banger story. story. <laughs> <laughs> so glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> I can see how this must have been very overwhelming for you. Yeah, but I was skinny as hell back then, so she probably wouldn't remember now. It's like a whole different nigga. Short hair. I mean, based on how you just retold the story, it doesn't seem like it would be something that would be really cemented in my brain like that. Yeah, it wasn't nothing to remember. See, that's why you got a negger. If you had told her, like, hey. Careful. I want to. Hit you in the head with a crowbar. Oh, she would not forget. Neg her. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, like, what, 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 what? How would that have been an appropriate like statement if it had been the other thing that you're probably thinking? I of? don't know. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I already you said the about? word neg in this conversation. Yes, thank but God. But you didn't say neg her. That is oh. dicey. That's that what I'm dicey. sitting there like, what the fuck? It's okay, Adam. It was we'd been talking about negs earlier on. Clearly, that was a, an accident. No, you not... can't give him the out. I got to give him the out in this situation. Listen, I didn't realize that I said it's a guy who right grew up. In so that is a little weird. Yeah. You good though? I heard the separation. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to like turn you on to the the red pill community. I mean, where we I say also this all the time, do not right? respond to nagging. If anything, I'm the nagger. <laughs> but also, Adam, I liked. Yo, can we <laughs> like, what's the better Yo, word? Nagus. Let's go with negus. Yo, but she just took it to another level. That was fun. Well, it was an Asian female and a Still, woman in the sex industry. I feel Twitter like ain't giving it. nothing. Uh, Yo, fifty percent of the people in here have said what could be construed as the N word, right? On no. this podcast, and none of everyone in this, in this room is white besides you. Well, definitely. Said oh, y'all <laughs> set this shit up. No, this is who's working here today. Yeah, y'all brought me in here to call me a nigger. No. <laughs> <laughs> he like hearing niggas so much, he laughed like I'm a day. Keep in right. mind, this all comes from me telling you that you should hit her in the or threaten to hit her in the head with a crowbar, which is actually probably more offensive, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And I would like to reiterate, I was kidding. Yeah, I want to bring yeah, that back. That kidding. is when you say neg. Usually, that means like, oh, your lipstick's a little messed up, or like, <laughs> oh, a weird tattoo. Were you drunk? That's a tr- that's like, a textbook I want to neg. You. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I take it back. <laughs> like, that's, uh, that's a little much. Yeah. Listen, uh, how would you respond to me putting a cattle prod up your pussy? Jesus. That was like the so you don't like style that. of neg. I don't know if that's a neg because you're really like <laughs> leaving it wide open of just like asking her thoughts about something that you could almost certainly assume would be horrific. I think that the, your lipstick looks weird. That's a better example. Oh, th- exactly. Not, yeah. that, not I that, agree. that it does, but. No, it looks great. And I, that tattoo is beautifully done. Thank what you. What could a guy come up to you and say at three o'clock in the morning outside the bar that would actually stick to the inside of your brain and actually maybe give him a shot? Honestly, nothing. Yeah. I, I think uh, go, you know, stereotypical. Hey, I bet you're a real bad driver. 
Oh, what the I fuck? actually am though. It's like <laughs> I hate it because it just kind of fulfills the stereotype. But I am an awful driver. Is it because you're not paying attention to the road though? Are you texting? No, it's because so I moved to New York when I was 17, and so I got my license like two months before I moved. So like, and I've lived there for 13 years. So you still like, live there? Yeah. So the like amount of times I've actually driven, if you like combine all the actual minutes it's maybe like six hours of driving wow. in your whoa in your whole life in my entire life you just yeah. don't drive in new york yeah, so. I, I just don't drive i drove from the age of like 16 to 21 then i like every day then i drove or then i went to new york lived there for seven years did not drive once and then as soon as i moved to california and i got a car i was like terrified to drive but then as soon as i got a car i was like oh right this is like the easiest thing on earth but i was i never really drove in new york so I was always like hella on edge and paranoid about that, but I did I did drive there a few times like well, enough also, to be like oh this is just whatever. Driving in New York is hard. It's way harder, the but I, I am a good enough driver that it's not like really a challenge, you know. Like I'm just kind of like I don't even know how to parallel park. Really? Yeah. Mm. I judge people based on that a lot. Yeah. But I think now you don't even really have to know how to do that yourself, you know, with the cars. Well, yeah, if you have like a smart car that yeah, yeah, yeah. what kind of car are you driving? Yeah, you have a Tesla. I, I, I'm not driving any car. But aren't you moving to LA? It. I am. You've actually decided. I, I've been decided. I've Are been you decided. scared that you're going to lose your soul? Oh, God. Um, no. We do that out here. We steal souls. We do, no. yeah. I mean, like, being originally from out here, like, oh, yeah, it's right. just kind of returning home. And I want to know what your work schedule is going to be like. I understand you did a scene with my buddy Adam22 Well, here. no, actually. That was she was on Plug Talk with another man. But I thought you and the strap on and no, that was a uh, another girl. <laughs> Damn it, that was a really interesting thing. So you're not you the girl. And the strap on. So you're not People dating at home. Just think about it. So you're not dating the snowboarder, and you didn't no, peg. No, 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 no. You didn't I was peg else. Adam up the asshole. No, because oh that's gonna be released soon on Plug Talk. Is Adam getting the ever loving shit pegged out of him? Love that. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many views we would get on Twitter if if there was a clip of you fucking me in the ass with a strap on. I'm pretty good at it too. On Twitter. Yeah, because that's where it's going to end up as soon as it comes out on OnlyFans. Somebody's screen recording. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be on there. I just wonder like how into it people would be. Not that I want. To I, I think it would be a lot of negative feedback, Adam, but I think it'd be good for the brand overall. Uh, the brand of Sledge Lords or the brand of No Jumper? No Jumper, bad. Sledge Lords, good. Mm. Plug Talk, good. Mm -hmm. I wonder. See, my mother asked me who I came out here to work with and work for, and I still ain't replied to her text yet. So, I'm hoping that you don't get fucked in the ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would be great. Like, you know, mem remember our conversation with uh, Jason Ellis where we found out that, like, his... He, he basically put out two books, and the first book was about him being, like, a, a, a skateboarder, and it was, like, a bestseller. And then the next book was him talking about being bisexual, and apparently it did not do very well at all. Yeah. So, the, you know, it turns out... Some percentage of your audience doesn't really want to hear about your your gay conquests. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Or identity. Like, I will God. say, after pegging for the first time, it made me respect men having sex more. Sure, because your abs got really sore and your oh legs got tired. Yeah, you know, it's. I think like women are just not used to that like range of motion normally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're and especially with the strap on, the you can't feel it because it's not your dick. The thing so. is, is that ninety percent of why it's hard to be a male porn star or a male porn performer is pretty much just staying hard. Like I've I've seen dudes who are super experienced in the game have like a really hard time with it. And even if you can get hard to like keep it hard, keep it hard enough, et cetera, it's like that would probably be the main thing. Whereas like as a woman, you may have to hit a bunch of like weird poses and stuff while you're getting banged, but you don't have this fucking organ that you have to be constantly monitoring and making sure there's enough blood so in it. So are you saying it's harder to be a male porn star? Yes. I think that's probably a fair thing to say, wouldn't you? Wouldn't no. you? Oh, I'll put it like this. I've seen a lot of male performers fail on set. I've never seen a woman fail. Well, do you think it's harder to get pegged or fuck someone? It's, it's probably harder to fuck someone, yeah. assuming you have to like keep your dick hard on camera in front of all these people, but then also like getting pegged. Like for me would be a challenge. I've never done it, but I figure if like when, but like, like there's so much prep and stuff that has to go into being the receiver of penetration. That is a good point. And really just all the prep in terms of like hair and makeup and everything hair like that that makeup, the woman like, is doing. The women yeah. have to show up 
hours before the guy. The guy shows up like maybe 20 minutes before he's needed. But in terms of what's harder, I would say that like 95% of men, maybe 90% of them would not be able to do porn. Yeah. The brief window that the porn is being shot in, mm -hmm. the guy has a harder job. Not just with the erection, but the timed ejaculation, mm. making sure we don't have to bring in a fucking boom mic guy to be the stunt cock. However, women staying hot. A guy born with a big cock, he's a fucking porn star until he's 60 if he wants to be. A chick has to do a lot more work staying beautiful. Mm, so the true. job of being a porn star is harder on the whole for a chick. The performance aspect, tougher for the guy. I could agree with that. Yeah. I think that's fair. The other day I was watching two guys perform with one girl on Plug Talk. Oh, that's, and, and, you lost my interest when you burned, mentioned the girl. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> Same thing. And I'm watching them going to nut, and I'm just realizing, like, whoa, this is like, you know, sk like skiing, like, but with, like, doubles. Like, they're mm. jumping at the same time because they kind of are, like, having to, like, be in the same mentality to nut at the same time and that's like a level of bro uh -huh. that very few guys ever get I mean to. one of the funniest things is when you you have two male talent and they're like it's they're ready for the pop shot and then you're just sitting there and they're just like jerking off like pr probably like right here right here and they're just jerking off and like focusing on you and you're just like going back and forth you're like okay and then you're like kind of trying trying to do this sort of stuff to like you want to look sexy them. for the camera and, no yeah. you're trying to like give them visual right. so they're like ready and then once it. they're like okay we're ready and then you just get into place and you know it's crazy about picture me and you standing side by side beating off a woman waiting so it's ah, and, yeah. and a cameraman and ah, a fucking yeah. lighting Fuck guy yeah. whatever it mikey's might be. over there in the corner and me and you have to like <sighs> coordinate our hardness of our dicks. So if you're like within, you know, 10, 20 seconds of being able to nut, rapidly reaching you have 92%. to communicate mm, yeah. this to me. Like somehow visually, you probably don't want to just uh, say it. Well, it's T weird, minus right? five to nut over. With each other. Huh? While oh. also not making eye contact. Well, no, him and I, that's the only way we can come. Mm. Oh, nice. So it works for you. Well, somebody gave me the advice to lock eyes with the filmer if you don't want to come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which I, I I still haven't had the heart to try it. Yeah, but I do Just making like making extreme eye contact. Well, because I will sometimes if I'm having a hard time not finishing, I will just look at the ceiling. But then I also have to look at the camera to make sure that the camera isn't catching my face. You know, because I'll yeah. if I just stare at the ceiling, I feel like that's my best bet of. Like sometimes when you're fucking like having this crazy fat ass you're banging in front of you, it's like you just have to you you have to like separate yourself from the reality of how good this looks. Was this the scene you shot with Gucci Berry? Uh, no, I wasn't even there for that. We sent a filmer, know, actually. I was joking. I was, it was a gay joke. He oh. fucked his fat ass. But I get you, though. That's actually genius. Because I'm just trying to think. I've been on a couple of your shoots, maybe just one. Yeah. But, like, locking eyes with the really uncomfortable filmer guy, yeah. like, that would just take you out of a scene so quick, which is what you need if you're about to prematurely ejaculate. The question is just, would it be too much? Would it make your dick stop working entirely? Or get it three times as hard. Mm, well, <laughs> if I had that kind of, that's why I don't want like a sexy filmer. So let me ask y'all a question. Um, when the dude can't perform in the movie or whatever in the scene, <laughs> the movie. I don't know. I don't do porn. Like, I watch it. The scene. Sure. <laughs> some people eat food. Some people cook food. Mm. But let me say. This. <laughs> so if the nigga dick ain't working, right? <laughs> why is the n word so funny? Uh. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> God damn. All right, so if the nigga dick not working, is he allowed to just pound it with the, with the gummy worm or? No. It, oh, it has to work. It's not going to look good on camera. Yeah, because I, I was watching like some shit, some uh, content, and I'm thinking like, yo, this shit can't be hard this whole time. Like, maybe he's taking a break. Well, so there's also things that guys will do to stay hard, obviously. Like what? Taking taking pills or injections or sometimes they have like a pump they inject the stuff into their dick yeah there's a lot of levels the, to the, the you, dick enlargement game yeah. yeah that is you're really gonna pay the piper someday though when you get dependent on that cock shot from what i've heard yo i i've just recently met somebody who has like the pump installed yeah. inside their body where and they can basically like the balls. you can squeeze like, your balls until and it fills your dick with blood because they overused the shot 
I've heard that overuse of the shot makes your penis just, like, it's basically guaranteeing your cock is going to stop working in a certain amount of years. Yeah, I think it's like almost like the equivalent of getting on steroids where it's like you know your body's going to stop producing testosterone, mm -hmm. but you're making the decision to maintain that synthetically. Yes. Yes. Yeah, how, how much is a built-in dick pump? This is there's so I many have, questions man, I still Kurt. have, I, and now I know someone that I can ask about it, but I'm like nervous to ask. But them also, about the it. thing is, you could very easily Google it. I think I tried, and I have don't you? think I'm googling the right things because I don't really know what it's Built called. Built-in dick pump. Well, what I heard work. is that this is technology that exists because of trans people. Oh, because think about a, a trans man. There's nothing like in a biological female body that's gonna just get a dick hard, right? So even if you get a dick. How are you gonna get? How's your body gonna fill it with blood? Oh, I think they have to like come up sense. with a mechanism to make it do that. Although I, I really don't know, but I, I think at least some trans people are doing this. Mm. You ever had one of those? Not the trans, the <laughs> the dick pumps. Yeah. Yeah. Or how like, was not, it? Not for me, but like I've witnessed one. Yes. Oh. Okay. And then you had sex with the guy. Would you to come back to Quartz's original question? He was talking about can you smash it with the gummy worm? Would you let a guy before the camera started rolling who couldn't get hard, you know, get it started in your pussy? Or is that kind of like demeaning? No, you you just like start sucking it and get it hard and then you go to work. Like why would you put a soft dick inside of me? I mean, honestly, I'm very anti soft dick. Like, don't that's, ever that's very discriminatory. Don't ever <laughs> don't ever send me a picture of a soft dick. I don't want to see that. What about mine? It's like two and a half inches. So if me and you're in a relationship it has nothing to do with size. If me I just don't want to see it. If soft. we're in a like relationship, them. do you want me to stay hard all the time? I can't just be walking around the house naked. No, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> be hard all the time. No, but like if if a guy is gonna send me a nude, why would you send me a soft dick? And like it happens all the time for some reason. Yeah, I sensed a soft dick nude back in the day, and I didn't realize like how small my limp cock looks in the scheme of things. Mm. And I think my face was in it. Oh, oh no. What is this angle? Mirror. Okay. Bathroom Ooh. mirror. Oh, I no. thought full you was, body I thought too? you was like uh, this. A full no. body nude with a soft dick? It's not good. Oh, no. And it was just peeking like, hey, guys. Oh, over God. the rim of Did my you board shorts. It at least? No, just no. hold it and just That's pull it down. Over the rim of yeah, the what? it was God. Uh, the rim of my board shorts. Oh, I just Ooh. I just popped it over like, hello, everybody, just coming out to get my photo taken. And I've then he never went back had in. a complaint about like. I guess dick pick etiquette. Yeah, but I, one chick did say my dick was ashy. How do you feel about ashy dicks? Also, what no, the fuck? like it's you don't not know, like... nigga. You white, you don't get ashy. Yeah, but I know that black people use lotion and shit to defeat the the ashiness. I but like... I would think that the dick would be like the first concern. Like oil that thing up. Once you oil your <laughs> dick up, you technically jerking off. That's fine. Well, you yeah, also be open to that, right? Why are you worried about that? Because I, I don't halfway do things. I all the way jerk off. You can jerk off with I, the fucking I, eczema cream, bro. That's <laughs> hard. Are you insane? Wait, LaCour, what's your jerk off routine like? Tell me about this. Oh, I'm interested. <laughs> oh, you start a fire. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, that's Play cultural appropriation. Like you're native. You're going to make like a little, little strip. It's very interesting, though, to see what everyone's style of jerking off is. Because every man style? is... Oh, no. It's like very embarrassing. So Tell me. Yeah. What? I don't jerk off in like a... A sexy manner whatsoever. What is it's it? It's not supposed to be. No, like it's not like regular fingering or anything. Like I like basically hump my hand. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Are you on Ooh. top? Uh, on top of myself. Your hand. Like yes. do you you yes. fuck your hand into yes. the corner of the couch? Not the corner of the couch. And is this like a relic from your like youth? Did yes, you it you is. came up with yeah. this when you were like mm. mid puberty? Well, well, okay, or? So Psychoanalysis. I started okay. masturbating when I was like four, which is Whoa. weird. Mm. I had um, no idea was, that was. It was a thing. like such a. It was almost like non-sexual, you know, because when you're so young, you can't like process like you know sexuality or anything. So it's just like, oh, this feels good. And it was, like, such a thing that, like, my entire family knew that I was doing it and would, like, make fun of me for it. Because I was, like, basically, like, like, a dog humping, like, a, you know, a, a stuffy or something like How that. How many other brothers and sisters do you have? Just one. Okay. So and I was thinking that, like, maybe they didn't have enough manpower to, like, combat this No, so it was, it was very, like, a desexualized situation where like I was just like humping nonstop and um I had this blanket this like little baby blanket that I would hump and like my mom started basically calling it like a 
like a pussy blanket in Chinese. <laughs> so in Chinese, like the, the little kid word for pussy is like BB and then like a, a blanket is a bay. So she used to call it the BB bay. So it's like a pussy blanket. And I would- uh, Should be your porn name. That's strong one alliteration. Next <laughs> That's my next mixtape name. <laughs> And it would be a thing that I would be like made fun of for, like, oh, grab your pussy blanket, mm -hmm. you know? Like, it wasn't even like a thing that they shamed me for. It was more like, haha, look at this. But it's wild because vaginas really do get trained in in terms of how they're gonna orgasm, and a lot of times girls will like just develop some sort of routine early on in but their men life. Too. True, men but I feel like, like men too. are more consistent across the board on average. But don't like, you think? I've found that a lot of guys, the way that they come it's like from you know when they were 14 or something and they decided like this yeah. is the way that it's, they like to it's come. true my stepdad has to be in the room that's why i don't trust anybody who's like still advancing like the way that they beat off later into life yeah if you get frozen in time i think that's good if you're 25 and you learn a new jerk off yeah i don't want to get radicalized yeah listen connie uh how much would you sell me the bb bay for I don't, I don't even what know if it fuck? exists. I don't even know if it exists anymore. You can make some cheddar. I hung out with a girl the other day, and we did content, and I realized at a certain point that she had basically been pretending to be the same age for like five years, mm. which is a big thing actually commitment important. to the bit we but respect it it, it mm -hmm. makes we it kind of difficult when it comes to like interviewing somebody when you're trying to like go through like the, the course of their life and you know that they are actually further along in life but you have to like pretend they're like i just graduated <laughs> high school <laughs> they're like uh, so yeah i moved to the bermuda triangle <laughs> and i haven't aged in six years what age did this person claim they were I'm not going to be too specific i don't want to like sure, make it sure. super sure. transparent but uh you know okay I had a girlfriend like my whole time that I was in high school, right? Or like two years while I was in high school, right? And during that time period, she would orgasm like at the flick of a fucking nickel. Not literally, but like what? in general, like I would be able, we would be in fucking class and I'd be fiddling with her vagina under the table and boom, she's like orgasming mid class. We'd like make out in the car for fucking five minutes before she went into the house so when I would boring. be driving her home and she would just fucking come like nothing. Awesome. Then we break up. Start hanging out again, like a year and a half later. She's discovered vibrators. Mm. It was never the same. Like Damn. all of a sudden, I'm realizing, like, oh, she cannot come at all, like the way that she used to. And she, by the time, even like a year or two uh, out of us dating, she already knew that she had kind of made a mistake, or not not a mistake, but she had like basically changed the way that her vagina worked mm -hmm. all of a sudden, which is kind of insane to think that she could have that much control over mm -hmm. it and had been able to sort of like desensitize herself so much in like a year's mm -hmm. worth of using a vibrator. I mean, that that's true. I mean, I so when I say I jerk off in a very not sexy way, that's not the only way that I can come, mm. but like that's my preferred way. So like I'll also do vibrators and stuff, but it's just like a different type of coming but mm -hmm. i find that when i just go in with the hitachi for too long like at like the next like week or something after it's just kind of desensitized a little just mm -hmm. because of how strong the vibration is you're you know? pummeling it so there's yeah. a there's a real double standard there because a guy who desensitizes his cock through non-stop porn jerking he's like a piece of shit porn addict loser but if a girl needs a vibrator to come it's like yes queen i mean i be your feminine self but it does I the same shit kind like, of love the gooners i think it's kind of hot wait, you think you it's, find that again what is the gooner a gooner is someone who just beats off all the time yeah it's like like almost competitive <laughs> masturbating but with competitive yourself. well because like you're going oh, for hours. hours 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 if not days wait so a gooner a gooner would like to like be, not beat off eight times in a day but beat off for eight well, hours so they're edging so they're so edging really? the whole time we need to learn more about wait so gooners are i imagine you're in contact with them they're fans of yours well, yes they she edge. provides the fodder for their gooning sure i it, yes. i don't blame you for liking these so guys. my my gooners are actually called paragooners Someone came up with that. Oh, yeah. that's cute. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But basically, it's like these people who have made kind of like a sport out of jerking off. And a lot of times they have multiple screens of like different 
porn going oh. on and then they're just like jerking off and the, like I've read the threads of like they'll, okay. they'll share tips with each other yeah. on like how to like keep it going because like you know they're going for like five to eight hours listen I'm not pro genocide <laughs> But these guys should be first in line. <laughs> yes. But I'm yeah. kind of into it. I don't know. There's something about it that seems very hot to me. I don't know. Well, I'm sure they spend a good portion of their income on you. But if you sit around and jerk your, your shit off for eight hours in a day, like how are you any different than a guy who's sitting around watching some Twitch streamer for eight hours in a day? Like you're literally same. contributing the same amount of utility to the world, except that the Twitch streamer just made like three cents off of that. Not even close to three cents. Like a penny and a half through you watching them throughout that duration, right? What's going to happen? Where's the world headed? Because we have all these people nowadays who are just online consuming content that's probably not healthy for them. AI is about to wipe out about 50% of the jobs in this country, but they can't take your job, honey, we right? We will all be gooners. <laughs> what, what's I don't think happen, that's though? not so certain. That's true. Yeah, there's an AI uh, version of her in the works that we okay, don't know so, about, right? No, so I've tried this, or I haven't personally tried this, but I've had people try to like create an AI version of me. It's not, they're like typing in all these things. It's just populating Asian girls. Uh -huh. And they're like tattooed Asian girl. And it's just like awful, like the tribal images. tattoos and shit. Oh. Like, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. It'll but, come together though. But the though. thing is, is like they can't figure out the hands. Like, but we don't AI need hands for hands. now. I, 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 listen, if a, a, a top, if she came at you in a bar, and she's mm. just like clearly showing mm. interest in you. And yeah. then at some point, oh. you realize I don't, I don't she DP, has I'm no sorry. hands. You don't she, do what? DP, I'm sorry. She has nubs. Mm. I don't give a fuck. I'm no, I don't care. Your ass you had like Lego hands. If, you were, if your job oh, was to defuse so bombs sexy. in Iraq, like if she was like a bomb squad girl in Iraq and all of her limbs got blown off, I couldn't care less. Yeah, 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 if she know, was like a laundry hands. bag with no limbs, I was still. Some, some <laughs> of those AI <laughs> chicks I've seen are like the hottest fake chicks I've ever seen in my life. And yes, they have like three fingers, but it's like for something that was just created out of thin air, I'm amazed personally. Let's do. Well, I like think our AI dumb. chicks is a slippery ass slope. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get a sex doll, but I'll look at some AI chicks, I guess. Dude, our job might get taken by AI. Imagine the chat GBT version of Sledge Lords like, eh, Adam, mm, sex. Racist joke. It's Racist impossible joke. because we are so at the forefront of comedy that the, the AI is actually being trained by watching us. That's true. That's how I see it. It, it does research. There are ChatGBT is a gooner while it watches the Sledge Lords podcast. Three monitors pulled up, the robot's jerking <laughs> itself off. Yep. These guys are geniuses. I so. Uh, so I went to an AA meeting with a friend of mine the other day, and uh, he told me when he was talking about because he also goes to sex meetings right he told me that Wait, sex, to everything. Meetings? sex like, anonymous oh, that, okay, yeah okay. so that the the meetings are basically like a bunch of dudes who are like relentless gooners as you say like dudes who are just watching porn all day six monitors set up they're beating off six seven eight times a day and then the girls are just like sluts they're just like chicks who will fuck five guys a night or whatever, mm. or I've fucked like a couple hundred guys this month or whatever. And it's like the most insane duality between these dudes who just like are in their house 24 seven and these girls who are like risking contracting STDs nightly. Yeah. So, I mean, that really is almost like the OnlyFans girl slash OnlyFans fan setup. It's mm -hmm. like, it's just, it's occurring in real life, right? I mean, I feel like that's just like the duality of man. Ooh, or know? man and woman, yeah. yeah. You think I feel like the guys who were in those sex anonymous meetings probably wouldn't even want to have sex with the girls because when you just jerk yourself into oblivion all the time, it seems but beside the point and superfluous. I think Aren't for those these guys, guys fucking too, they just don't have the opportunity. Well, I don't know 100, percent but my friend told me basically that it does not appear that there's a lot of sexual tension between the groups, yeah. that the guys are not exactly shooting their shots with the girls, and mm -hmm. the girls clearly are not going out of their way to talk to these guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. I mean, when you can just jerk off to a smoking hot chick on the internet, you basically get 80% of the satisfaction you would get from having sex with her, minus 100% of the drama. Mm -hmm. Is 80% too high? Bro, if I was single... And I was beating my meat four or five times a day. The level of depression that I would feel <laughs> after each subsequent nut would really start kicking at a certain point uh -huh. where I'm going to be like, you know what? I would like to be getting nagged right now. I'd like to have a girl around to complain yeah. about me leaving my underwear on the ground and or I whatever. Think, like that kind of speaks to like why AI can't even, like take out the sex industry because there is something about that like like 
connection that you can build with a real person. I'm old school. I want connection. When I went to Japan and they told me that you can just go to this one hotel and that they will like have girls come in and cuddle with you and mm. stare you in the Clean eye. your ears out. Yes. And yeah. that that's like a whole thing out there. It's like super common. But did was, you do it? No. I'm like, oh. like it made me realize I had no desire to do that. It's like, no, I want her to want to like pick my asshole. You know, I want her to <laughs> want to cuddle me. Well, she probably would. You ever had John the arms fucked? Have my underarms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. What? Yes. Did you enjoy it? How did no. that work? They just, oh. they fucked the crease. He just kind of did it? Yeah. He didn't like talk about it first? Men don't really talk about things first. Like I mean, ideally, some old spice like, first? consent would be a thing, but like, but they don't want the, the deodorant. They want like your like the pheromones and, you know, I don't know. I feel like when guys get horny, there's a level of horny that they reach and they're just like feral. And like, there's no understanding what's going on in the brain. So when a guy pays for pussy, he shows up feral more often than not. I mean, normally he doesn't show up feral. It's some sometime in between, right? That he starts like ah, like his Couple brain of shots and he turns into like, a, a rabid. The things cat. that I've heard men say during sex, where there it's just like word vomit, and you're like, like what? that doesn't make any sense. Where they're like, I love your cock, and you're like, I don't have one. <laughs> You know, it's like what stuff like the that. Fuck? Because they're just saying now you things. bullshitting. No, what, I've heard that all the, like a bunch of times from multiple dudes. Uh, yeah. Oh, but one nigga said it a lot. It's just word salad. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just like they're trying to form words, and they have a general basis of what they want to say, but then it just kind of gets mm-hmm. scrambled. Has anybody blamed you for COVID mid sex? No. What the fuck? Hmm. No. How much do I have to pay you? To blame me for COVID? Well, I mean, you know, I've got some unresolved issues with the <sighs> CCP, and I don't know, I'm joking. Okay, I'm from Taiwan, so oh, okay. that's not hey, yeah, respect. That's, that's not that's, that's, not that's not their enemy, people. people. That's not my people. That's their fucking enemy. In hey, fact, like for a stand long with Taiwan. time, Taiwan only had like twelve confirmed cases of COVID in the entire country. Nice. Well, they really yeah. shut shit down over there. Yeah. Huh? They did everything possible. Yeah, to... I mean, they're like, you know, with Taiwan, they're like, oh, China's on some bullshit. We're, we're not going to listen to them, and mm-hmm. we're going to shut everything down. You know, my T-shirt was made in Taiwan. <laughs> 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 we have a lot in common. <laughs> wow. I just noticed that my air fryer. <laughs> Got a little label right on the side. <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> My t-shirt was made. What a fucking pickup line. Let me ask you this since for some reason we're like really like hammering Connie with questions here. Do you, like to what extent do you feel like being in the sex worker world? Like you were, you were just describing your, your schedule for the day and have all these intense things that you're doing. I feel like a girls go through periods where like for a while they like just being on the grind of just doing all this porn stuff and everything. But then at a certain point, sometimes it lasts for a long time and sometimes it just is like a thing for a while. It starts to feel kind of meaningless and it's, it's kind of like hard to keep up the energy of just doing that because it's like, it's really like just for money and you don't really feel like that true passion for it. Or do you encounter this emotion or no? Um, I mean, anybody that knows me knows that I'm like a worker. If Uh. there's anything that Connie knows how to do, it's working. And so I don't really feel that, but I do find that now at the point that I'm at in my career, I try to do things that feel more creatively fulfilling, you know, like, like just working on projects that I feel like are more artistic and like more than just like, oh, I'm in a, you know, hotel somewhere doing some bullshit like boudoir shoot you know in some lingerie or something like like I have a shoot today and I saw a picture of like old or young Cameron Diaz and she's like in a mo like in a motel and mm. I was like that I really like this vibe where it's like gritty and stuff so I would like want to kind of recreate that in some sort of way okay I'd, I'd put down a sheet over the mattress in there I'm like, oh, it's, it's probably if it's, it's a real gritty motel you're probably gonna get pubic lice no, we're not we're not we're not shooting inside the hotel, but the exterior of it. Okay. Yeah. You're naked outside the hotel. I'd be careful. Oh with no, that you're just too. doing like cool photos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe naked. I don't know. We'll oh, it's cool. it's Los Angeles. I don't think anybody's yeah. gonna. Yeah. I mean, like, I just did a shoot, so I've been working on this like art book thing for over a year now, um, and we just did a shoot where it was just, it was just fucking crazy. But I was hanging out of a 
holographic wrapped car like flashing all of um hollywood boulevard mm. and we had two cars like driving a, like next to each other and it was like friday night everyone was out like it was it was insane but like i love that energy and also just doing things that are more creatively minded yeah i, I like indecent exposure too yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, me Daddy, too, yeah. what's that lady doing? Because we usually don't talk about this, but me and Danny are both low-key flashers. Yeah. Like we love to throw on a, a throw yeah. on a, a trench coat and just sort of walk Why around. Why is it always a trench coat, though? It's, it's just, it provides great flashing it's, capability. It's Honestly, I would lock up any nigga that's buying a trench coat. Like, <laughs> the fuck you need a trench coat? You're either shooting up a school or flashing. But I think it's better <laughs> a trench coat than like a raincoat. Like imagine like a guy flashing you in a yellow raincoat. Well, I would be open to that if it was long enough. I don't want to. I don't want everyone to know that I'm naked underneath right. the coat. Right. And the uh, raincoat's good too because if you accidentally climax inside the coat, it just dribbles mm -hmm. down to the ground. You know. But the thing I have against that is like you can always see like the man's legs. Right? I have beautiful yeah. legs, Connie. I read a lot of Curious George when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have a nigga in a raincoat. <laughs> No, but how about this? I have advanced flasher strategy. How about I like take these pants, cut them right here, sort of tape it to my legs. Mm. So like that, the rip off pants? So I don't have, or even I could cut it right here. So it's mm. like I still have the pants. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, or maybe I could even just cut out a, like a sort of cod piece. Oh, this is why you're chest. my partner in flashing. You think these things <laughs> Wait, through. So, so what does that mean? Like, Flash go you go out and, him and flash I. people. Him and I do, yeah. Typically, like, you know, there's this uh paper company in uh in Pennsylvania called Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I'll go over there and there's this old lady named uh what is it, Phyllis? Yeah, yeah Phyllis. <laughs> She's one of my particular targets. I like to just really let her see what I'm working with. Yeah. Sounds very familiar. There's this real <laughs> uptight guy, Dwight. He's the guy I like to hit. <laughs> he's really kind of like sometimes he seems like he's pure evil and sometimes he seems like he has a heart of gold. It's really tricky. Yeah, so. yeah. He loses his shit though when he sees my limp penis on a Thursday afternoon. Lord, that I mean, Jim, I would too. Jim sure does like to prank Dwight, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. I like Jim. Jim sometimes he like uh, opens the blinds so Dwight sees my penis. Mm, Connie, hot. how much would it cost for you and I to go on a you know a romp date? Oh, I don't know. Mm. Would you accept me as a client? Would you charge me less? Because of, me? I'm handicapped. <laughs> because I don't know. You kept action. telling me about your limp dick, so and I don't that know, is I might a pet peeve. More. Okay, he's yeah. newly single. Could he perhaps get some sort of like pity coupon? Mm. That doesn't work that way. Really? I'm it sure. It could. It's the wild, wild west. I mean, but anybody can come up with a reason to have some sort of pity coupon. Though. Oh, I got, I got all kinds of evidence. Yeah, I can tell you all about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the pity coupon. I love it. It's just a series of vlogs that we could show you about about what he's been through. It's been a lot. Jesus. I actually, um, I was in the Peace Corps, and my <laughs> unit was overwhelmed by guerrilla fighters in the Congo. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This sounds like something that definitely happened. They Especially, mutilated his cock. They mutilated my cock. And that's why it's permanently soft. Yes. Yeah. They they took the will for hardness from me. Yeah, me too. Hey, listen to this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this entire conversation just about limp penis? Now? And her. Yeah, we were trying to like make it like sort of like her just hanging out, just talking on the podcast. But it seems Yo, like once we have a woman in the building, in we just face. can't talk about anything else. I do. I want to tell you something that I think is pretty incredible that I realized. So a couple years ago, there was, a, there was a host on this podcast, right? And he basically had this conversation with me about how he had met this hot ass chick and he had hollered at her and he was trying to get her to hang out with him. And when he tried to get her to come out, come over and spend time with him, she responded with the menu, mm. as we call it in mm. the industry. Mm -hmm. And then after we had Connie on Plug Talk, I just, I just kept thinking about it. And I was like, was that the girl? Was she the one who sent the menu? And then I asked them and they confirmed that you did, in fact, hit him with the menu. Don't hit me with no menu, Wait, Connie. that was me? Yeah. Who put this Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah. And so he, he That's admitted. That's so funny. And so you guys never actually spent time together, so it's no. nothing that we're like having to cover up here or anything. But it, it's just so funny to me to know that, you know, every chick, think about every chick you ever met in your whole life that you hollered at that wasn't trying to fuck you. She just kind of like left you on red or toyed with your emotions a little bit, talked to you for a while. But Connie's got a killer monetization backup mm. plan. You want to spend time with me? Here's the fucking price. I mean, it, the thing is, is, if you wanted to date me, it would be a million times more expensive. I can guarantee you that. Whoa. Like, 
And the amount of work that you would have to put in, I am not a person that's easily impressed. Paint the picture for me mm-hmm. of like what you might expect from a guy who who is going to date you. A guy like me, like oh, like, so, boy, I sure would like to I take have you a out. YouTube channel. I have, yeah, I, have a I mean, YouTuber. like, Tickle like, my feet. there's so many different things, right? Like, you have to be at, of a certain level of intelligence. Like, okay. I Check. Can't, we're done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's nope. it. I'm I, sorry. I, I can't on, ever, dude. I can't ever date someone that I feel like I'm smarter than mm-hmm. because then I'm never going to. That's not you. fair. You fucking Asian. <laughs> <laughs> you do seem pretty smart True. so that is kind of setting the standard yeah, a little high i yeah. mean like that alone you know if i ever have he has to a history degree on I have a how to pronounce degree. something done oh even no. just one word like it depends on the word but is there an extent to which you you become familiar with the guy you start to like him he mispronounces a word and then all of a sudden you're, you you have immediately it, you can't have any sort of uh well it's just like there's certain things that I feel like are general knowledge. Name the first three presidents of the United States. I don't give a fuck about the United States. I presidents. win. I win. Boom. <laughs> you know Defeated. What? You owe him pussy. That's right. That's how it works. <laughs> Free pussy. Um, yep. But like you know, I I'm a really well traveled person. So like mm. I need to have someone who's also well traveled oh, that knows fuck. things culturally. <laughs> Florence, Italy. What, you like that place? Just like. <laughs> That's just like knowledge stuff, right? Like, mm-hmm. and then we're talking about financial sort of oh, situations. Fuck. Like, do you have financial literacy? Do you have like Damn. a backup plan? Like, what is your N- name? All the continents. I'm the opposite what? of her name. Type. All the continents. Okay, In North America, <laughs> South America, Australia, Europe, uh, Asia, and Antarctica. And Africa. <laughs> and Africa. Racist. What the oh, fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was Not only did you not know, Connie, you are racist. I f- didn't finish. <laughs> the hell's been in the last. room for a second there? <laughs> I'm sitting there. I, like, was, <laughs> ru- I was going around. Yeah, and she okay. started with North America. How racist was that? I love that Antarctica gets hit before Africa. Yeah. There's nobody I there. I was going around. <laughs> okay, oh my okay. God. That's crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, like being well traveled. I've been to Africa. Have you? Oh, she's trying to be like, <laughs> what I'm saying. My step um, is But yeah, like, <laughs> like education, um, you know, how you are as a person. Are you a good person? Do mm. you like care? No, that's not oh, good for me. So, I'll like, stay away from that Okay, let, let me just throw a hypothetical out there. Also, if you can't dress, absolutely not. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm Who's dressed opposite. good enough for you here? Um, it's all pretty rough. Gra- graphic tees and just like she hiding. Me already. I thought when she looked at me, she was going to stop and be like this guy. <laughs> you get a pass because your shirt's made in her country. I mean, I will say you have the most accessories, so maybe you out of everyone. Here. The most accessories? I take pride in having very few accessories. Yeah, it's it makes really him, not for me. It makes him less robbable. That's smart in Los When Angeles. you look at his baby blue Nike Airs, does it do something to you that these Birkenstocks just don't? I hate Birkenstocks. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were I'm never... very anti-Birkenstocks. We weren't meant to be a thing. Yeah. all of those. Yeah. I, I don't have a mean throw-up either, so I don't think that you're yeah. going to like... You, you yeah. couldn't date me. Yeah. Boo. Mm. What if I did this? I do. That's a, that's a graffiti reference for the record because on Plug Talk she told me that she was some sort of graffiti hey, thing for a while. You lying? No, I mean like skaters and like graffiti dudes and like. But she didn't me. do graffiti. She just was no. hanging with some dudes. Yeah. Hey, Connie. Yes. I'm not gonna say anything, but I am gonna do this. I hope the cameras pick it up. Don't show me your limp penis. <laughs> Seventeen dollars. Wow. <laughs> no, that's a that's a good solid thirty. If I have to, that's a wad. No, 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 that might be fifty. That's two twenty. That's raise. a fucking wad, dude. I need that, a raise. How much can, is he getting paid? That maybe is enough for like a a picture. Mm. A picture of what? Of me. So if I try to take a Naked? picture at the pizza spot with you, you're gonna charge me no. if I'm a civilian. No. Oh. I mean, but people generally don't do that. Yeah, they generally get, get will just take too. pictures. Of You've them. seen about enough of this, Court. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you were going to take some. But that's so funny that you brought that up about the menu. Do you sell pennies? <sighs> yes. All right, so I have this rule for pricing. I go retail plus 20% for every <laughs> six hours that you wear them, right? <laughs> So you do this a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What okay. if she just like rubs it on some garbage or something? And yeah, why would her pussy smell like garbage? <laughs> but I mean, like, wouldn't it, if you if you bought panties online and it smelled horrible, wouldn't you be like, oh, like, this is real? <laughs> Normally, like, I, I do like, you know, I'll cash app you and then we meet up and I'll take the panties. The furthest I ever bought oh. panties from was like, You've really done this? Ohio or something, yeah. Shut the f- You went to Ohio? I didn't go to Ohio. You went all the way she to Ohio them. for some used panties. That's but crazy. she vacuum sealed them. Yeah. And she sent them. You know, it's, she probably just has her f- fucking 200-pound assistant wear the panties and then sends them out. Pussy residue is pussy residue. 
Can we return <laughs> to the, the the menu that we were talking yeah. about here? I just want to say. What what was it that made you realize that this person was someone that you wanted to send the menu to versus somebody that might have a real shot at your heart? Can you just feel I the... I send the menu to everyone. Oh. Like, that's the thing is, like, to me, it's so simple. If you want to spend time with me, it is very simple. It's all out there. How much like, is an entree on this menu? Oh, shut up. Yeah, what, what is the cheapest <laughs> thing? Yeah, what's the, <laughs> the bread basket? <laughs> yeah, the free but thing like, at the beginning. But like, it's so simple. And then guys like the try to basket. like you know circumvent it or whatever. Right. And it's like you're gonna waste so much more time and energy and honestly money. Can I get a to- water and a minestrone soup? A what? <laughs> Basically, like the cheapest things. Okay. <laughs> no, I like that because it's kind of like if you want to live a life of luxury and excess, you know, like you don't walk into the Louis store and be like, hey, I'm famous. Can I get a free bag? You're like, hey, I'm famous. I'm going to spend my whole fucking wad on all this shit. Like, in here, ball right? players will do that. And I'm like, I'm not your fan. I don't know who you are. I also do not care. But so. what kind of guys get to skip the menu? This guy? I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting to think that it's a hard no. I disagree with you. I mean, like in the past, I've dated people who were started off as clients, you know. Really? So mm-hmm. like those people didn't cir- circumvent the menu; they just like kept. It was based on they got in because of the menu, and then based on a personality thing, we kind of made it became something more. But does dessert involve you shitting on my chest? No, hmm. that's extra. I like Connie because she is kind of the the walking epitome of like what Fresh and Fit are warning guys about. It's like these girls, they just want money. They just like they they you know Correct. they don't care about your personality. You get like Correct. you know basically like the vision that they paint of the world that I consider kind of like extreme and post apocalyptic. It is kind of living through Connie. Like she's because she's a shameless version of it. She doesn't give a fuck about acknowledging the hardcoreness of this arrangement of how it's gonna work for you guys out there. I mean, at the end of the day, like we live in a society where women are kind of given the short end of the stick. So like Do we? Yeah. And through Danny Mullen, you can have an even shorter end of the stick. <laughs> Length is not my problem, sir. <laughs> oh, it's girth? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's skinny. He's going to get the silicone oh, implants skinny. in the side. Oh, no. Yeah, like that's a fixed. pencil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine is short and fat like a can of tuna, so. Can of tuna? <laughs> yeah, it's one inch. You don't even funny. have to. If, if only we could team up. You could just call it a chode. We already have a word for have that. Have you guys even ever actually seen a micro penis? Yes, online. Like in real life, not in real life. I don't think I've seen a truly micro penis in real life, but I will say, other that than looking in the mirror, Mikey. When, when I was twenty, and when I first moved to New York, I had two roommates. One was a very, very tall, uh, light-skinned black man, and one was uh, a guy from China who actually was kind of alpha for for a Chinese dude. He was like six foot. He was like what kind, does that mean? had a little bit of a muscular base to him. Like if he walked into the room full of all the other like Chinese guys, like he would probably stand out to you as like. The most the likely one. to beat the shit out of them all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He was he was a good sized dude, but like one day we ended up in a random ass three way situation with a girl. And I just remember like seeing his cock and it didn't really extend past his pubic hair. Oh no. And that kind of made me realize just how small a dick could be <laughs> at a pretty early point in and my it was life. Hard? But was his yeah. pubic hair very long? It was a maybe like two and a half inches, maybe. It was it was it was not really a formidable penis, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with yeah. you. But I think that in my lifetime that stands out to me as like the smallest cock I've ever seen. I've only seen a micro penis one time. And it was paint the picture. What was it like? What was Danny doing when you saw it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a little jarring. Yeah. It's a little jarring. And like jarring. Yeah. You brought you it to put it in the a jar. The nigga dick was jarring. <laughs> <laughs> That's like crazy. <laughs> Um, I mean, and then like immediately the first thought I had was like, why didn't you tell me it was a micro penis? But then I also thought like, wait, I guess that would be a weird thing. Like, oh, by the way, I have a micro penis. Yeah, he's probably not eager. You and if know? he and if he bought the menu, I, I think he was probably hoping you wouldn't make a huge deal out of yeah, it. But- Show me using your finger how micro we're talking here. Oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to come back from it that. Like here, not this. <coughs> it could always be worse, gentlemen, unless you're that guy. I don't know if it could be worse than that, yeah. And like, really what it was is the logistics of like the physicality of it, mm-hmm. you know? Because when it's so small, you literally cannot feel it. 
And so immediately I look at it. I'm like, how is a con? How are my condoms going to fit on that? Yeah, no. It's so much small. You're you gonna know? have to use hand manipulation. And, the, and only, then, right? and then on top of that, when it was in, I like could not feel it. So I'm just watching his face the whole time, just to like try to get a temperature check of like, is this good? Like, can you like? I can't feel it. I don't know what's going on. You know, wow. it was it was it was difficult. Was he a was fat very, man? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think that that was a big part of it? You think if he lost like a shitload of weight that he would have a decent sized dick, or you think no. this was permanent? No, 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 I think it was just he had a micro penis and he also happened to be big. You raise a good point though. Gucci Berry pulled his penis out on our podcast last night. How Gucci, was that? it's his cock is. I feel like it would be kind of big if he were a regular dude, <laughs> but he's got so many rolls yeah. and his body is so immense, it makes it look like a micro penis. I swear that I lost 40 pounds and that I could see like nearly an extra inch of my penis. Mm-hmm. Someone like him, he has like 200 pounds of fucking really gelatinous fat. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. gelatinous. I mean, it's, it's just gelatinous. so, but it's just like a different like style of fat than whatever was going on on my fat pad yeah, before yeah. I lost oh weight. You know, God. like for him, I would assume that he might have like a couple, like three inches buried under there, right? Yeah. Four inches? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're you're totally right. They Scientifically, your fat pad, when fat accumulates there, you're losing inches, baby. I forget what the, what's the equation? Like 50 pounds equals a half inch or something Something like like that. But how does that work? Like, like I know that that's the science, but like, how does it work? Is it like the skin is being pulled up? It's just puffing up around it, you know? It's like, you know, it's it's like if you, if you have six inches of dick and then you have like this much fat, it's not like your dick is like attached to the outside of your fat. Your dick is like at the base of your body and all that fat is just on top of it. So I feel like if you are a fat guy and you're insecure about your dick size, for sure the best thing you can do is lose weight. True. Hmm. Not not, not telling you to do it. I'm just saying (laughs) for other people at home. I wish I had some weight uh, I'm going to be blatantly honest. So when I was, like when I first met Adam, I was like 160 or some shit like that, right? What are you now for reference? uh, Like 260. Okay. Some shit like that. No shame in that. Exactly. Did you gain that weight because you met Adam? No, I had two no. strokes and I was on uh, steroids or some shit like I'm that. I'm not an easy hey. person to get along with. Sometimes mm-hmm. my uh, co-host will just like eat themselves to death and he's mm-hmm. kind of in the middle of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. only been here for like a month, but he's kind of in the middle of that. He worked with the trauma was so profound. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was uh, like eight <laughs> inches at the time, so now I'm seven inches. You know, after gaining all the weight, which is still a respectable dick for a fat nigga. Or <laughs> We'd love to see photos before and after so we could really see what's going on. I also, you. I got an ashy photo and then I got a good photo. Is this a scientific measurement court? Because I feel like when you ask a guy how big his penis is, seven, it's like when you ask a girl how many dudes she slept with, seven. she's almost always going to say three. But I feel like dudes' standard answer is they have a seven inch dick. I don't hang out with girls. That, I shrunk that, down to seven. I don't hang out with girls that could pretend to have three. Yes. <laughs> you, yeah, me neither. It's a different squad. Maybe 20 years ago, but not now. No. Yes, exactly. They won't even pretend. But yeah. girls that like me or Mikey might hang out with, they're going to say three. I feel like dudes say seven. Where did you measure from, Court, when you got the reading for eight and now seven? Were you jamming the you ruler so hard down? into your skin that you were bleeding by the end no, of it? No, no. Even no. Connie's suspicious. So what you do is you go from base. And you used a ruler or like a tape measure? Tape measure. Okay. You okay. go from base at the top to tip, right? That's right. Okay. And That's how you do it. You go from balls to tip. Balls That's, to tip? That doesn't count. You're going to no, include your count. balls? No, no, no. When you go from balls <laughs> to tip, yeah. you get an honest like, you know, measurement. But they should both ideally be the same thing from balls to tip and then from base to tip. Balls to tip, meaning you're not like including the, the balls. balls. No, no, no. You're not no, wrapping no. around okay. both nuts. Balls, no, 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 nigga, where the balls start at? <laughs> Connie, let me ask you this. That's, yes. that's good. So I don't remember what the price was, but I do remember that like towards the end of the list... It's like when you're, you know, at the restaurant and they got the like three hundred dollars steak at the end. Like everything on the fucking list is like twenty, thirty, forty bucks, and then they got one steak that's just like if you want to ball out, mm. you can spend three hundred fifty dollars on a steak, the filet mignon, or yes. maybe it's zebra. Her, from what I recall, is kind of like that, where there's this like overnight girlfriend experience type option, right? The foie gras. Well, it's actually so. The menu is just based on time. Right. And so it just, the time accumulates. And actually, that, w- near the, the end, the, while the, the price is higher, the actual amount per hour is cheaper. Because ah. you're discounting it as you're, it's like, it's like buying wholesale. 
you know? Right. Like, so it's actually way cheaper to like invest per in hour. more time. Yeah. Right. Than to like the most expensive will be like the like Okay, but twenty four hours of you treating me like I'm the best thing since sliced bread. Yes. What do you what are you taxing me? Not me, um, but some some guy. Round it to the nearest. I feel like I would get a cool clout, I don't, clout I don't discount, remember. You know? I don't remember. Because it was back in the day. Just show well, us with so, your hands. So in in the menu that I sent that guy, it was years ago. So it was right. way cheaper than it is now. Oh, okay. but Inflation. Like now, I wanna know now. Now for like two days, that's like uh that's like six no, that's Hundred? five fi- five figures. <sighs> what? So it's like one grand for a whole weekend? No, no, five figures. Five. So Is that like four? Ten, ten plus. Oh, percent. fuck, dude. I'm an asshole. Ten K <laughs> plus for two days. Ten K? You got a five five K a day at least. Oh, we're yeah. talking, yeah. I don't way, even like that no more. more. That. Really? More Can't afford that. to. Well, so, yeah. so but like I appreciate that, right? Like if you know someone is out of your, you know, pay scale, like just Appreciate from afar. Well, Connie, <laughs> I want you to slide a menu over to me right it's now. It's not easy. I want it to it's say. It's not easy. It's so simple. <laughs> Just, I can't wait to see what the comment section thinks Because, like, her. here's the thing is, like, I, I remember um, I was at a friend's wedding, and I'm meeting this guy that apparently, weirdly, I had also met years ago, and I did not remember him at all. And he was, you know, talking to me really, like, friendly, but very normally. And... I guess, like, after the wedding, he hit up my friend and was like, hey, like, you know, how can I, like, hang out with her? And he's, she's like, dude, like, it's like her job. Like, you can do it very easily. You have money. You're, like, rich. And he still tried to, like, invite me over and was like, oh, well, I have a hot tub. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) See, how the fuck do you impress a girl whose time is worth five, ten grand a day, whatever? It's like, what can you do? I'll show you. Have a sparkling personality. No, I'll show you. Reverse psychology. Yeah, but you've made it quite clear that that's not going to get the job done. No, I mean, it's a a combination of of a bunch of things. Uh, She's growing attracted to me. Watch this. Connie. (laughs) Yes. You're trying to seduce me for a day? You're trying to get me to spend five grand? How about this? You want to fuck me? It's going to cost you $1,000. I guess we're not fucking. <laughs> Damn it. I'm very anti-negging. I swear. No, that makes sense. Hey, Connie, I don't actually believe in fuck negging. You. For the record. Oh, see, look. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. You're not going to get a rise out of me. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know he was going to say that. It's going to be $500 to get a taste of this skinny white cock. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Good for you. I don't think it worked. So yeah. if I wanted to <laughs> sniff the couch when you get up, mm. you want to charge me for that? Well, we really should be charging. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna the be couch. charging you. I'm not the couch. <laughs> Adam. So, you know, you can do whatever. And, you want. Unless you give Adam four hundred dollars, Mikey's gonna wipe it down with Lysol. Exactly. Oh, and he may that. smell it as part of his job. <laughs> I give her the four hundred and smell her. <laughs> Would you let him smell you for four hundred bucks? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, like how you said, yeah, of course. Of she course. just wanted to say yes to something. <laughs> sure. She said no to so many things. I so mean, far. the last time someone like only smelled me, it was like I, I was paid seven hundred dollars. Get that. the fuck out of here. Seven hundred dollars for a sniff. I mean, really it was just like a time. deep inhale for like very long. I actually hated it. You hate what? Just the the feeling of just being it was smelled. The, yeah, you know, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Kanye, those bracelets fake gold. No, these are Cartier. Mm. Yeah, so, I know those are like, what, like eight grand each or some shit. Uh, the cheapest one is. Yeah. They look like they're my, made out of pyrite. My girl was saying that. My girl will point that out in pictures of like models and stuff. She'll be like, "See those bracelets on That's her how arm? you know it's that girl is a good hoe. Yeah, it's Cartier bracelets. Okay. Yeah. So you're talking about my girl? Well, just in general, <laughs> just in general. Like if you see a girl with a lot of Cartier bracelets, yeah. usually she's a hoe. And that's an important note for anyone who's committing armed robberies in LA as well, is yeah. that if you see like a, a series of Cartier bracelets, that might be someone you want to follow home. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you can't you might get, really a blow get job those off unless they loop. got the screwdriver on them. Mm. Yeah. You, you can just take the, the arm. Hey, bro, arm. it's the Wild Wild West. We're going to cut that whole arm off. Jesus. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> so you really don't respond to nagging? Can I try yeah. one more? Like, Sure. Uh, your, your skirt sucks. Okay. <laughs> it's Burberry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> How much would you sell the skirt for after you had it on? I actually love this skirt, so I probably wouldn't sell it. No. Mm. I mean, the market value is only like, what, 75 bucks? Good job. No way. How much Good was job. that? Burberry skirt? What is it, 400 bucks? 
No. A couple hundred? No. It's no? more. It's more. More, yeah. more than 400. More than I don't know. I haven't really looked I at the skirts. I know Wasteland is giving you like $16 for that. So Hell no. <laughs> Wasteland. That's why I'm not trying to sell it. I like it. Uh, Connie, like cool. you mentioned you want a guy who's financially literate, but it strikes me as not a good financial strategy to spend thousands of dollars on Cartier bracelets. Maybe if you're poor. I feel like she's got okay. an abundance Ooh. of cash on hand. <laughs> Talk that shit. Break down your investment strategy for me right now, because I'm putting you on trial. Again, I'm My not going to buy anything strategy, off of strategy, I have a 401k. Okay. I also have stocks. Um, I, I also invest in other companies. Is. What kind of stocks do you have? I don't want to go through my stock portfolio. I want to know. Um, it's mostly tech stuff because that's what I understand. Okay, but is, that, is that okay? There's probably a, a racist joke to be made there because you know tech I'm, stuff. Um, is, I <laughs> had invested in crypto, but obviously we all saw what happened there. Sure. Um, but you took yeah, a beating I'm, in the crypto market, huh? You took a beating. Oh yeah. Yeah, me too. Like terribly. Did you panic yeah. sell, Connie? No. Okay, good. So you're still holding on. Yeah. That's smart. She's. It sounds like she's doing pretty well. You know, it's I re- almost like I have a college degree and I'm 30 years old. Mm. Yeah. Do she- you actually have a college degree? I do. Where at? Uh, NYU. Oh, that's a pretty good school. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Yeah, she's just. She's yeah, I, I see. I knew that, but she didn't tell you guys. See, I, this you is know. the thing: is I'm a person who doesn't talk about anything unless I have the stuff to back it up. So everything about me over the last like. 15 years, I stand by 100%. You can look at pictures of me from 12 years ago, and I am still that bitch. Do you stand by that Africa is the least important continent? I wasn't listing them in order of importance. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like this podcast is taking on like an antagonistic bet. I just want to jump in front of why, it. Why did I list Asia so late in the list if it was based on importance? Because you're too. self-loathing. I am not. I, again, I do like how you, you're a good patriotic woman because you started with North America. That was very nice of you. Well, it's hard not to think of the place where you are right now first, right? Yeah. And That's true. Well, it's South also America. how the, the map they they show in America, it's always North America on this side, but that's not actually in other countries where it starts. That's a good point, yeah. Well, don't North they make America way bigger on the map? Well, they should. a lot of the countries, it's not to scale, but yeah. every every different, like, continent they're showing the country on the left side the first like where they are i think they should make russia smaller what if florida it's intimidating over there yeah. it's like the dread of continents what if they what if florida was actually like a quarter of the size it really is but map makers kept pumping it up so america had a fat cock mm, what if florida had a little button inside their ball sack that they could just press <laughs> over and over to get a boner <laughs> get a little bigger get closer to cuba yeah. and they're like ah, oh, too many refugees are swimming over and then they'd make it smaller yeah Remember Elian Gonzalez? Is he a refugee? I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, he was all in the news for a while there because he fucking just randomly ended up on a boat show or uh, like a raft showed up in Florida and his I think his parents didn't make it. It was like the biggest news story for a while there in the 90s, I think. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. I wasn't following the news cycle back then. I was probably like playing with trucks. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember hearing about it at the time. What happened to Elian Gonzalez? Can we get a little report on Pull that? Pull it up, Sid. We need Elian. What He's happened to Elio's not... Pizza? I don't see that shit anywhere. And pull up Elio's Pizza. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> I remember those two. I miss Mama Celeste. Oh, Mama Celeste? Bro, the way Isn't you Isn't that said... the, like, microwavable? Yeah. 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 And it used to stick to, like, the shit you have to put it on. Oh. Oh, like, oh, like, the, like the little foil <laughs> yeah. Like thing. Yeah. Mama no, Celeste you... was damn near my mama. You like, would pull it out yeah. and put it on that little foil thing on top of the box, and then by the time you got done microwaving it, it would all be sliding off to one side <laughs> because you didn't like fully stabilize the box. How much to eat a um, uh, Mama Celeste off your ass? <laughs> I don't know. We can ensure you it. that you will yeah, not I'll be burnt by the cheese I'll in any way. <laughs> Elian like, Gonzalez, what happened to? My entire office needs to go uh, to Google school. That's because Eliana. Yeah, Eliana Gonzalez looks kind of hot. What the, why are you deleting what happened? What the fuck? What do you... You don't have... It's Google. They got you don't have to... Re- she wrote Elian Gonzalez she, what happened to and then really deleted what happened to and wrote it at the beginning as if Google's not going to be able to figure to that out for fair, you. You guys are really underestimating she Alphabet. She wasn't even born when this shit came <laughs> out. To be fair, I would think that like millennials would know how to use Google better. Elian Gonzalez poised to be the top Cuban lawmaker decades after Florida deportation. Get wow, it seems like things have here. gone well for him. He looks good. 
Like 2016? He's looking handsome, yeah. Yes, he showed up when he was six. Wait, I, so I don't know about this story. What happened? He just like showed up on a boat or something? Yeah. Once yeah, he was floating on like, the door from the Titanic or some shit like that. <laughs> but look, it says he was photographed during a raid by armed immigration officers on his family's Miami home, which became one of the most memorable images of the Cold War tension between the U.S. and Cuba. Who who was his family? I, I, maybe I'm confused about this. Whatever. Would you fuck Elian Gonzalez for a discount? I don't fuck people for discounts. What yes. about a poor refugee boy? Tell him. Nigga, I had two strokes and she ain't offered me a cent off. Damn it. She ain't giving Elian Gonzalez no goddamn discount. Did I tell you Not what happened? Not before me. It, it, I can't believe we still don't have Elio's pizza on the screen either. <laughs> it said. It said. <laughs> You're in trouble. Jesus. Uh, Connie, what do you think you and I go... To, He's still uh, trying. He's still trying. What, what do you think we go, uh, like, I don't know, to one of those mechanical bowls and we just have ourselves a little night out? I've but... actually never been on one of those. See? Are Look at that. Scared? Well, I have long nails. So yeah, I'm scared for you. Yeah, honestly. I just envision it's going to be not. What because... if we rode one tandem and you held onto my waist? Are you in the front? Mm hmm. I'll do it. Hey, this is my idea, motherfucker. Back no, out. No, I'm She's piggybacking you... on, your, on your date. I don't idea. like this. It's me and Connie. At Saddle Ranch. Are you good at it? Yeah. Are you actually? Yeah. But no, don't white, they white control it and they can basically buck you that. off of yeah. it at I mean, will? that's the thing, too, is like, so what? from what I know about it is if you're a hot girl, they'll be going ham yeah, on that Yeah, that's what I heard, too. Uh, See, I can refute that because I was recently with some girls at Saddle Ranch where they have the mechanical bowl. Note that we still don't have Elio's Pizza. Like, what, like what, what? How can... Like, what the fuck? Connie... <laughs> Yes. You will never feel more alive than when you're holding on to dear life around my stomach while the bowl goes. <laughs> what do you say? Fine. Oh, damn, that eye contact is it. You know who just secured themselves a fucking free date? A free bull riding date. Uh, yeah. And then, you know what sound effect's going to be happening in the hotel room next to Saddle Ranch after the date? None. Go there images. Are no, there Go are no images. sound effects. So there's not going to be the... No, eh. absolutely not. All right. Well, I might have just killed That's, my chances. Put us in the corner so they can see it. That, that was really attractive. That second row image. <laughs> I was you. Uh, Is that Dave? That's Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was on their box. This just brings back like a lot of a lot I've of like never warm seen fuzzy this. feelings. To me. Really? It's pretty yeah. low brow. I'm not gonna lie. Is it yeah. square? It's rectangular. What about the Red Baron? I like Ooh. Red Baron pizza. Wow, you guys are Red like Baron. like naming some stuff. Like no, I have not had like microwave any of these microwave pizza brands in at least ten years. But I just I, I like remember from my childhood. DiGiorno. Oh, that was good. Yeah. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Great slogan. I'm still thinking it all the time. Red Baron pizzas. I'll stand by them, dude. I love a trash food. Oh, yeah. Do you eat clean? Um, Not in particular. Mm -hmm. like, I, like, I feel like I eat normally. What have you eaten so far today? I have not. Anything? No. When are you planning on eating? After this? And not including no. cock. No. Um, I would probably eat after my photo shoot. Are you on Adderall? No. No drugs? No. What the fuck? How do you go so so late into the day without eating? I could never. Drive. Drive. Yeah. You've replaced food with Well, passion. it's also like because I have to do things where I have to look like slim and not bloated. So I'll probably have like a little snack or something. A little yogurt not, or something. Yeah, right? but not like actual food. Damn. I don't like to. I don't like to fuck when I'm full. So I do, and my girl sometimes gets mad at me when I eat like a big plate of fish right before we do porn. <laughs> She'll be like, "That's, you know." She's like, you, "You realize I'm like going on my way to like not eat too much all day, and you're just jamming fish down your throat up until the moment, just whatever comes whole in the fish meal prep. with the head still attached and the skeleton <laughs> in." Because <laughs> I immediately imagine like a steamed fish, which is crazy. Yeah, just batting it out of the water like a bear. Yeah, I'm imagining you dressed like a barbarian coming out. Like, you're wearing all deer skins, but there's a little, like, slot for your penis to flop imagine out. Imagine I went fishing every morning, and all I could eat throughout the day was what I caught. Be, oh, you're like Gollum shit. from The Lord of the Rings, dude, and you just come in with a raw fish. Well, <laughs> on the fish topic, I've recently seen there's, like, a whole subsection of women on OnlyFans who are, like, capitalizing on, like, fishing. But they're like naked or something, and they're making bread. Oh my god! Wait, fishing naked. So yeah. so I get you know a little 
fishing hole that I go to, yeah. I guess. And but yeah. I go there naked and I set up the camera on the tripod. Yeah. Fishing is really like standing up until the moment you catch them. I don't know what else they're or doing. Sitting. Yeah. But like I see them all the time on TikTok. They're making like these safe for work little videos, but they're like fish or women. And then if you pay for their content, do they fish naked? Yeah, I think I think all their content is like fishing naked. What about doing... hunting naked? Mm. Oh, that seems dangerous. That should be your niche. Yeah. It'd be tough because usually they like you to wear the orange reflective vests when you hunt. Right. And you might get sh- somebody might think you're an animal. Well, like, can th- you like paint yourself in camouflage? Yes. That would be a bad idea because then again, the other you're hunters gonna shot, are yeah. going to shoot you thinking you're a fucking moose. True. Okay, but this is the state of the world that we live in where women, OnlyFans creators in particular, are really incentivized to just like get a hobby so that you'll have something to make content about on TikTok mm-hmm. and whatnot so that you can then drive people to your OnlyFans. Because mm-hmm. I've had this conversation with my girl. I've seen girls blowing up on YouTube shorts and TikToks, like decently cute girls. They're just playing the guitar. Seems like they've been working on it for like, you know, a week and a half. Like, this, they're not exactly excelling at guitar, yeah. but it gives them something to do that is visually appealing on TikTok, and they're, they're blowing their fucking OnlyFans up because of it. It's really quite a world we live in. How many streamers, like hot Twitch streamer girls, hate video games? Probably a lot of them. Yeah. But I they mean, stream the fuck out of some Call of Duty. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely... It's definitely out there. I'm sure there's a game for everybody, right? But you kind of have to play the like popular games, right? It's it's funny. Whenever I see like the really hot chick playing guitar, she usually kind of shreds. <laughs> I would love to see the girl who's buzzing notes, trying desperately to get through "Wish You Were Here" by Pink Floyd. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm, I feel like right now I should tell you that I saw John Mayer perform on Friday. He's oh, a talent. Fuck about John that, Mayer. The John Mayer concert. John Mayer is one of those guys where if he has a big cock, if I found out he had a big cock, he does. I might kill myself. He does. Okay, great. And oh. he said that it was a white supremacist cock. What? That's funny. I don't know what that means. He had like a controversy. <laughs> I told my girl about this and she had no idea, but basically he did a Playboy interview like 2010 and kind of got like canceled for it. He made a bunch of jokes that like did not land particularly well by the time the article came out. And one of them was him basically saying that he's not racist, but his dick is a white supremacist. <laughs> Basically saying that like he ended up mostly hooking up with white girls or that he kind of preferred white girls. I'm not sure exactly what the sentiment was, but like to our modern brains in 2023. That's a gnarly Like, joke. yo, like you are supposed to be cultivating like a safe brand <laughs> image for the world and you hit us with that joke. Like you are a wild boy, John Mayer. Just he did stand up. guitar, nigga. Like what the fuck is you doing? Yeah. He's not a comedian. He's a, he's he a, did stand up for a while. Like, he, actually, he was did, getting into yeah. stand up. He seemed like he could do that when I'm... I'm watching him on stage and the little like riffs that he's doing between these bits. He's not an idiot. He's sure, a, yeah. he's a talented dude. I'm Court, I know you don't like that white supremacist joke, but you, you gotta give like the it? guy. I thought it was actually for... pretty funny. It sucks <laughs> that he had to like disavow it. I, I think it's a better way to say it. Yeah, it's not, it's not the white supremacist shit. I'm not like upset about the race or nothing like that, but it's a better way to say it. He took like low hanging fruit. But this is 2010. Of course, it's low hanging fruit. It's 13 fucking That's years ago. True. And he's yeah. a pop star, isn't it? Isn't it like refreshing that a pop star would say anything other than exactly. like women's rights, like pro choice, go Biden. Anything other than that is a fun thing to hear out of a pop star. Do you find mouth. that offensive? I'm. Why would I find that offensive? I don't know. Presumably, his white supremacist cock wouldn't be super interested in you either. I don't care if people are attracted. To <laughs> Asians yeah, are white, yeah, right? dude. Asians are basically white. But I think. Mm, mm, well, in yeah. the modern woke discourse, that is kind of a thing now. You're it's white so true. passing by being Asian. Right? Yeah, Which exactly. Is like insane that we've it's gone so to this point. It's so crazy because people will say that, right? Like, oh, well, you're you're Asian, so you don't experience racism. I get asked all the time, like. What country are you from? Or like, wow, you speak English so well. I'm like, cool. I'm like, I'm from California. What are the number one things that a guy hitting on an Asian woman should know not to say? Don't tell me you like Asian women. (laughs) Uh, Earlier, (laughs) I uh... don't start with that. It's the craziest thing. Like, people are like, I love Asian women. I'm like, okay, what's that got to do with me? Earlier, I like tacitly blamed you for COVID. Should I not do that? Probably not. Okay. Um. That that's like, but, but if a girl tells me like, oh, I love tattoos, yeah, I do feel a little objectified, but also like I accept. Well, granted, like, that's something I did to myself. Tattoos are like you know? like the male makeup, you know. Mm. Like if you're if you you, you don't look up. great, I mean, like it's that's true. So is a hat. Up. 
To me, That's fucked up. the general rule is that if you're going to holler at a girl, you should not say the most obvious thing that she's probably heard over and over and over in her life. And she wants you to have some decent barometer of what that is. Meaning, if you are going to approach an Asian girl saying, oh, what kind of Asian are you? It's just, if you think about it for a second, they probably hear that too much. So that should go in the bucket of things not to say. Yeah, like don't come up and guess. Like, I'm like, at least because then, cause then mo- most of the time they're wrong. Like, I've never had someone guess off the top, like, oh, you're Taiwanese. It's always they go through a list, and I'm like, what are we doing here? Mm. You know, and then, and then, or like, don't guess that I'm someone that I'm not. So, like, a thing that happens all the time is people think I'm Kazumi, right. which is oh, insane. Oh, that's fucked up. Have you tapped in with Kazumi? So, yeah. Yeah, oh. we're friends. Yeah, you and her actually remind me each other of a, a lot, like just like hustle and like ambition wise. Yeah. You both seem like you have that kind of like Terminator, yeah, like, but need like to it make happens money all the time. At, People at, come yeah. up to me and they're like, oh my God, Kazumi, I'm like wrong Asian girl. Mm. And then they get really embarrassed and I'm like, yeah, not all Asians look the same. Mm. And then they're like, oh, mm. sorry. Uh. I'm like, yeah, like it's just a weird thing to come up to someone and just assume they're someone else or like just make it about race. Because at the end of the day, it's like I understand that I'm an Asian girl. But like when I view myself, that's not the a- I don't focus on the Asian part. You focus on the big tits. Yes. <laughs> if they thought you were Dolly Parton. <laughs> No issue. Can you play a song? No, oh, I cannot. I thought, I thought you were Dolly. Do you play any musical instruments? I used to. Piano. Like what? Um, I used to play piano. And oh. How'd you know how I knew that? You know? you know how I knew that? Asian. Did she already tell us? No, but no. I can hear fingers. When she went to she a bar called Piano, so you just assumed that she um, played the piano. <laughs> Good no, memory. I used to play piano. I used to play clarinet. I used to play bass guitar and drums. We need a bassist. We do. We have a guitarist. We're starting now. A we band. have a bassist. Boom. Now we got a band. Singer. I uh, but you raise a good point though. Adam. I'm gonna learn to play the drums. I'm uh, I'm rereading the book, The Game, right now. I think I've told you about this. Right. And uh, just, I want to do a video based on the LA pickup culture. But one of the things they bring up in that does it still exist? The LA pickup. Cul- I guarantee there's a scene of there's idiots. Gotta be. Yeah. But of oh nerds God. patrolling I would love the sunset. To know about it. Me too. Oh. I, I got to get in on it. But that's one of the first the first things they would say too is that a fool's approach would be to go up to Connie and to compliment her tits. And her tattoos, which I'm sure is what most people, even before the Asianness, that, go yeah, for those two things. That immediately puts you into the simp bucket of like, oh, you can't think of anything interesting to say. You have no personality. Granted, she's in a kind of different tier because she's already decided that her body is valuable enough that you're not getting anywhere near it unless you're willing to invest. Which that that's really got to throw the pickup community but for a loop. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's also just the idea that like anybody can do the same. You know, like there's tons of people who are not attracted to me that will be in the comments being like, yo, you're fat, you're this, you're that. I'm like, I don't care. Those were my burner accounts. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> I don't care because any any woman or any person can determine their own value and but paywall. It. You have a be- <laughs> paywall. It's not like she's paywalling her <laughs> vagina. That's hard. <laughs> no, but, Spotify, yeah. <laughs> but a, a, a lot of women don't have the attitude that you have where a lot of women, like once they become, you know, public facing sex workers on Instagram or OnlyFans or whatever, like it's actually hard for them to take the negative criticism. Whereas, you know, your attitude seems like probably the optimal one, which is that you just genuinely don't give a fuck. Yeah, because I have an Asian is. mom. Mm. So anything anybody has ever said about me on the internet, my mom has said to me when I was like six years old. Really? Yeah. She used well, to make you need to do anal. Blanket, like. <laughs> you know, like every time, like, cause I get, I get some crazy comments, you know, mm-hmm. and like the, the people always like to call me fat and I'm like, I'm literally a size medium. So yeah, you're not object- fat. No, you just have big boobs and butt. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, saying stuff like, oh, you're like fat Asa Akira or whatever, mm-hmm. which I'm ch- like, Asa's tiny. Right. So like, I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. But it's also, yeah, my mom started calling me like obese when I was six years old. So, mm. and I was objectively obese? not obese. But, so Okay. I would think that a lot of women would come out of that with you know some sort of trauma and that it would you know kind of fuck their life up at all do you feel like you've been able to just sort of intellectualize it and realize that it was fucked up or did you feel like i mean i definitely grew up with body issues because of it and Mm. it took a long time to kind of unlearn that but that's also the difference of being a 30 year old you know i'm not 20 so a lot of my life experiences is 
reflected in how I view the world and how I view myself. And like at the end of the day, like I said, I'm a person who is about the things that I say and I've always been that sort of person. So if anybody tries to check me at any time, I can be like, here's receipts, you're wrong. You know? And I could 100% see you kicking court in the nuts. I he could, would have to pay for that, though. No. Like, I think I could see you just doing it as sort of like just because you want to see him suffer. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 I, she's the realist, right? She's, she is, uh, I want to say, Connie, that you are beautiful. Thank you. Body-wise, facially, and uh, I'm very impressed. Other than the uh, racial hierarchy you constructed out of the continents, I'm very impressed with your intelligence, too. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of hate the current like porn star youtube podcast meta just in the sense that it just is fucking boring like i just keep seeing people just interviewing the same girls over and over and over and it's like as someone who was kind of at the forefront of being like a, a, a mainstream quote-unquote channel doing content with porn stars i kind of hate that just it's just gotten so dry but she's like one of the girls i've had on a recent memory where i was like oh she's She's cool. We gotta actually really talk to her more. I'm in depth. good at sparring. Yeah, she's feisty. You mean like Taekwondo? Because you're Asian. <laughs> I know a nigga named Taekwondo. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you very much, uh, Connie. We appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you, Danny and Court. Uh, you you want to shout out the o, the OF real quick or something? Yeah, it's onlycons.com. Only c o n n s dot com. Yeah, damn. She got her own website. Let's go. Appreciate Ta- y'all. Shout out Taekwon, dude, wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, yo, free, free Taekwon. That's Daekwon's <laughs> brother. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. yeah.